Pepperdine University President Jim Gash. Uh, the President and I have gotten to know each other a bit over the last couple of years. I'm a proud alumni of Pepperdine, there and it go. makes me even more proud to see what you're saying, what you want this university to stand for, and what you've written in a new op-ed, uh, relatively new op-ed, that was published at Newsweek. Tell right. me what you want, um, the affirmative values, what yeah. does Pepperdine stand for? Yeah, Pepperdine stands for the creation of character and molding of character in our students as they come through. You know, we all heard that knowledge is power, but that power needs to be harnessed and needs to be directed, and that's what character does. And so we want to bring students in who are interested in that sort of education, but then also equip them by having a community that that prepares them to be leaders of character and courage and creativity. This isn't just an infomercial for Pepperdine. It's, it's actually, I think, I have wanted an American college campus to stand proudly on its values. This is who we are. Because I think the appetite out there among parents is just, oh, I need a college that stands for positive values, the reflection right. of what my family has invested in for years. And if that's what Pepperdine or anyone else wants to be, I think it's going to be met with a hungry demand. We're seeing that. We're seeing that. We see that, that parents are eager for their kids to come into a culture that already exists that says we want to have a wide-ranging conversation about the issues of the day led by professors of strong character who will engage with them rather than delegate to uh, you know, a research assistant or a teaching assistant, have a curriculum that exposes them to the things that really matter for our country, and then send them abroad, send them into the world uh, to deepen their cultural humility that is an important part of this as well, and so teach them how to serve. So you, you wrote in your op-ed, I, I want to read two things that you're kind of laying out the vision for, right. for Pepperdine. Or what I would suggest might be the model for any successful higher education. You say first, uh, colleges must form academic communities that appreciate viewpoint diversity, safeguard academic freedom, and stimulate intellectual curiosity. Amen. So what you're talking about there is freedom. Some of, this, Absolutely. some of the stuff we're not seeing on Ivy League campuses right now. Yeah. But then I wanted to posit it against this. You also say colleges must build character in their students, instilling values such as integrity, humility, and selflessness. Right. So I like that. But I also think we're I the president of Harvard, for example. That integrity, like the, the values, is what for them is antagonistic to academic freedom. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they believe that... As it's they, played out. Yeah, they believe they're taking a principled position that now says, shut up, those ideas are not valuable. Yeah. Well, as, as we've seen, as, as uh, one of our heroes, Ronald Reagan, has said, freedom is, is, is uh, one generation from extinction, and it's got to be passed on intentionally. And in order to do that, you've got to engage in this, this wide-ranging conversation. We're not confused about what we believe. We want to hear from other people who disagree. It's like, tell me more, but let me explain to you why, why you're wrong. You know, there's a quote attributed to Aristotle that said, the, 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 the hallmark of a, an educated mind is being able to entertain a thought without accepting it. And so to be able to say, okay, I hear what you're saying, that sounds entirely wrong, and here's why it's wrong. And so we can talk about what's true and what's beautiful and what's noble and what's right from a standpoint of, of, uh, of reaching that based upon a conversation, a constructive civil dialogue. And that's what we're having at Pepperdine. Well, I hope that's the case. I really do. I'm rooting for you. I'm proud. And by the way, I think you thread the needle how you balance those two things, that, that character and then that freedom. Is, you lay it out in this op-ed. It's, it's, it's remembering American values and adhering to your Christian faith. Exactly. And so one, one quick story. Will, we had 300 students in my backyard worshiping together this past fall. And when 10 of those students became, uh, decided they wanted to get baptized in my pool, that's a moment I won't soon forget. That's what Pepperdine looks like, is bringing people together in community surrounded uh, around faith. Make me proud as an alumni. Um, thank you for sharing that. I, I, I hope that I, I hope for America, whether or not it's Pepperdine, some universities step up and say, this is this is who we are. And this is this is who we will be for America. And that's who we will be. All right. President Jim Gash. Thank you. Thanks, Will. By the way, uh, this